Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I created a powerful new Figma plugin without any coding. Yep, you need zero coding knowledge and this takes five minutes per method. I'll be showing you two different methods. Each method is powerful and useful in their own right. So look through both the methods and choose the best method for you. Anyone can now create Figma plugins. So let's just get started. All right, so the first method is right here inside Figma and you don't have to download anything. It's called Artifig AI and it uses your prompting skills to create beautiful plugins. It, it pops up just like this and you just have to sign in with your Google account. Now creating a plugin is super easy with this. Now for our use case, we can type in a nice little prompt which creates a gradient generator in Figma based on what we have picked. So I've written create a gradient generator plugin that can pick a color from a selected element and make gradients based on that and apply it to the selected element. Great. I can now click on generate and it will start its magic. Once it is generated, you can click on it and it will take you to this nice little page with all the information laid out as well as some of the code laid out so that you can see the code and even copy the code to your actual final project, which will be pretty cool. Now I can quickly go ahead and say run version zero, which is our first version of our plugin. And as you can see, a little plugin pops up. However, there are some issues. I cannot see the gradient or color live. If I click on something, it gives me a little error. It's very easy to now fix this. We can go back to our plugin right here, click on versions right here, iteration versions, and tell it to fix or add elements for our plugin. So I can say, add a color picker at the top, which shows me the live color that we've selected. And also fix the tiny color is not defined error. So this is basically, I'm just defining what error it's showing up and what kind of additions I need to make. And then I go ahead and click on generate. So you can always define your own colors and your own UI. You can even have a dark UI if you wanted to. So that's something that is pretty cool. And I think it'll be fascinating for all of you to use. I'll have a link to the gradient generator also down in the description so you guys can try out the plugin that I created. Now the next method is where it gets really interesting and you can do a lot of crazy powerful stuff. And of course, uploading to the community is much easier with the second method. So let's dive into that. All right, so for my next method, I've opened up Cursor. Cursor is a crazy app that allows you to vibe code, which means converting your prompts or your ideas into code or fully fledged apps, Figma plugins or anything, websites, portfolios or anything. So to start with our Figma plugin, I'll say open project, go to our desktop or any other folder that you like, create a new folder called gradient plugin. I'm just naming it right now. You can name it whatever you like and I'll say open. So now any files that are generated will be generated in this folder. Now on the right, as you can see, is where all the magic happens. New chat agent. This is where agentic AI starts to play in. So here I'm gonna say, hey, I want to create a Figma plugin. Please help me with this, okay? So I'm just giving it some context on what my project is gonna be about. I can be more detailed, but this is fine. I'm gonna click on enter. And as you can see, I'll help you create a Figma plugin. Let me check in if there are existing code in the workplace. So what it starts doing is creating the files required, the code files required, for this Figma plugin to work, or for the or for you to export this Figma plugin to the Figma community. As you can see, it updates our package.json file as well as will update our TypeScript file into our vanilla JavaScript. It's done its task here. Let's go back to Figma and let's see how things will work here. So inside Figma, go to this little Figma icon or logo, go to plugins and under plugins, go to development and import plugin from manifest. Again, you don't have to code or anything. Go to gradient plugin folder and just import your manifest.js file. Open it from here and it will open this gradient right here in this Figma. Click on gradient plugin and as you can see, it opens up a little plugin that we coded vibe coded without any problems. I'm gonna click on this and I'll say apply gradient and it applies a gradient to this. Of course, that's perfectly fine. Now I want to add a live gradient viewer, a color picker, as well as some UI elements, which I think are necessary. So I'm going to go back to cursor and this is how you can iterate on your plugin. As you can see, I've typed in, I want to add a reset gradient ghost button that takes the element back to a solid color. Also a live gradient window on top. 
Also create a slider to change angle of gradient. Apart from this, I love dark mode, so I'll convert to dark mode. Also convert this plugin to dark mode. <laughs> and that's about it. I'm gonna click on send. And as you can see, it starts generating once again, gives you requirements, explains what it's doing. And the code is just happening. My hands are right here. And as you can see, the plugin has been officially updated. We have a live gradient viewer, which you can change as you can see, wonderful. And reset to solid color. As you can see, we now have a start and an end color. So I can maybe pick two colors right here, yellow and blue, cool. I'll say start color and I'll pick this blue color. It picks it up and end color, I'll pick this yellow color, it picks it up and you can even change the gradient. So I can just select this and apply the gradient like you can see right here. Now, now you might ask me, Puneet, once we have a plugin like this, how do we upload this to Figma community for everyone to use as well as to maybe even make some money? That's pretty easy. Go to the Figma community tab from here. As you can see, my plugin is already live. I'll request all of you guys to go to the link in the description and check it out. But for now, I want to go to the top right and say publish. There's a publish button. I'm gonna click on this. And as you can see, there are options right here. You can go to plugins and under plugins, you'll have our gradient plugin that we were testing right now. So I'm gonna go to next and it opens a little pop-up just like this. Here you'll have to give the name of the plugin. You'll have to give a tagline, a category. What kind of plugin is this? Subcategory, so you can choose from all the subcategories and you have to give a little description. Apart from that, I encourage you guys to upload a nice cover as well as an icon. For example, I have used an icon a cover and an icon like this, this green little icon. Now, apart from this, you also have to set data security. Just fill it, fill this little form and make sure your answers are 100% true and also set any permissions required. Once that is done, you will have a submit for review button live. Click on that and it is submitted to review. It's as easy as that. Also, I'll have a detailed description on how to publish your plugin as well in the description so that as a link in the description so you can always read through if you need a guide. 